Are you struggling to find out which parenting style is best for you? Well, in this particular video, I am going to break down different parenting styles. So, watch this video till the end to find out which parenting style is best for your family. Stay tuned. Welcome to my parenting channel. This is a free resource for all the parents who are looking for the tips on how to raise their kids. So subscribe now and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out my upcoming videos. Thanks for joining me. Let's get started. So I will give you food for thought. I will ask you a couple of questions. So sit back, relax and think about it whenever you have free time. Well, number one, every parent follow unknowingly different parenting style. Are you aware of that? Number two, what kind of parent are you? Number three, what do you think whether all the parents should have to be the same? Well, there are different parenting styles when it comes to raising children and each of them has its own strength and weaknesses. So it's important for parents to understand which parenting style best suits them so that there will be no space for the confusion. So I would like to share one incident with you which I came across. So I have been to one function wherein I heard one parent stating that my baby and toddler phase is over so I don't need to do the parenting now. So what do you think should be the time of being parent whether it should be the first five, four to five years uh, till the kids become independent and starts uh, doing their things on their own or till the age of middle school or uh, till the teens. So what do you think? What should be the duration of a being parent? Let me know in comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I think parenting is an evolving process. At each stage of child's development, parents play important role in teaching, guiding and shaping their child's personality. The day you give birth to your child, you become parent and will remain parent even after getting grandchildren. So that's why we call it grandparent with the age we develop maturity and wisdom which is beneficial for the next generation. We all want the people around us to be good and helpful. So we need to invest our time to create that environment for our kids by inculcating good values in them. So as your child grows, you need to grow as parent as well. So change with time, learn through your parenting mistakes and work on the solution to make yourself as a better parent. So I often come across the parents who don't know their parenting style or are aware of that there are different parenting styles or sometimes parents mix do different parenting styles. So one of my uh, friend he told me that I follow a particular parenting style whereas my wife follow a particular parenting style. So we fo both follow different parenting style. So what do you think of uh, mixing the parenting styles or following totally two different parenting styles for your child? Let me know in comments down below. Generally, parents adapt their own parents' parenting style. Uh, so with the changing time, it's necessary to change or choose the right parenting style for your child. How your child will be in certain amount depends on your parenting style. So let's explore some of the basic parenting styles with its pros and cons and new parenting styles that have evolved recently. Uh, so it's best to choose your parenting style before the child birth and don't worry even if you have not chosen till date you can think about it after watching this video there are four most common parenting styles they are authoritarian authoritative permissive and uninvolved parenting so let's have a look at them one by one authoritarian parenting is the strictest parenting of all four styles so parents are often demanding and expect their children to obey without question there is a little communication and no negotiations. So this parenting style creates children who are obedient but also resentful. Authoritarian parents put a lot of limitation and boundaries on their kids, what they can do, cannot do. It helps the children to follow the rules, but they feel insecure when there are no guidelines. So with many rules in place, children develop low self-esteem, becomes dependent and sometimes in some cases become rebellious. Permissive parenting is opposite to authoritarian parenting. Parents are loving and supportive, but they do not set any rules or expectation to teach a discipline to their kids. Permissive parents provide maximum freedom to their children. This style creates children who show more aggression, unable to learn emotional management, lack of self-discipline and lack of important life skills. 
Authoritative parenting is mixed of authoritarian parenting and permissive parenting. Parents are demanding but also supportive. They set the rules and expectation but at the same time they are willing to listen to their children and negotiate. This parenting style creates a close relationship with children who feel secure and loved but at the same time it also incorporates the disadvantages of authoritarian parenting and permissive parenting such as a low self-esteem, dependent on rules etc. Uninvolved parenting is the least common parenting style of the four parenting style in which parents are not demanding, they do not set any rules or expectation for their children they uh, provide little to no support to their children, children are ignored. This style creates children who feel neglected and feel alone. There is another parenting style which is becoming more common nowadays and that is helicopter parenting. So helicopter parents are so involved in their children's life that they literally hover around them. They get involved in each and every activity their children do. They make all the decisions for their children. Uh, so this style creates a children who are dependent and lack of independence. There is another popular parenting style and that is positive parenting style. The idea of positive parenting is to provide the child the warmth, support and guidance to grow them into healthy adults. This style has several benefits such as children develop strong relationship with their parents, positive encouraging communication with kids help reducing behavioral problems, children develop high self-esteem as well as learn essential life skills. So which parenting style is right for you? Well, it really depends on your own parenting philosophies and what you are comfortable with. Each parenting style has its own pros and cons. So while choosing your parenting style, it's important to consider your own parenting goals and needs of your child. It's important to find a parenting style which strikes balance between the rules and discipline on one hand and love and support on the other hand. If you are not sure, Preach parenting style is right for you, then take your time, just discover more about it, talk to other parents, uh, read about it and uh, you can watch my channel. <laughs> I am going to explain more parenting style in detail on my channel in my upcoming videos. Uh, so uh, which parenting style you find interesting or which parenting style you follow, let me know in comments down below and do check out my Amazon store. I mentioned the link for the same in the description box below. So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. So don't forget to give a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Subscription is absolutely free. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of my upcoming videos. So see you next time.